Hi guys, please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project and we are starting a new adventure. Today we will talk about Roman obelisks and we are just approaching one of them. This obelisk is called the Flamino obelisk and is located on the Piazza del Popolo. The name of this obelisk is connected uh, with the name of uh, the ancient street Via Flamina. This is a very first obelisk that uh, the Romans brought back from conquered Egypt in the 10th century BC by order of Emperor Augustus. It towered in front of the entrance to the Temple of the Sun during the time of Pharaoh Ramses II in the city of Heliopolis and belongs uh, to the 8th century BC. The operation to transport the monolith was so grand that the ship carried it was uh, put on display in Rome for many years. In Rome, an obelisk was installed in the central part of uh, the Circus Maximus, uh, which was raised and served as decoration. In 1589, uh, by decision of Pope Sixtus V, the obelisk was moved uh, to the Piazza del Popolo and installed by the architect Domenico Fontana. In 1823, the architect Giuseppe Valadier included it to the complex of fountains decorated with lions. The height of the obelisk is 25 meters and uh, together with the pedestal and uh, the cross on top is the high reach uh, 36.50 uh, meters. The Vatican Obelisk, placed in St. Peter's Square, Piazza San Pietro. This obelisk was brought to Rome from Egypt during the reign of Emperor Caligula in 37 AD. According to Pliny's description, its origin is from Heliopolis. Later, the obelisk stood at the Forum of Julia of Alexandria in Egypt, and in Rome it was installed in the center of uh, the Circus of Nero. In 1586, by order of Pope VI, to the fifth, and under the guidance of the architect Dominica Fontana, the obelisk was transported and installed in the center of uh, San Petro Square. According to legend, the ball in the top of the obelisk uh, contained the ashes of Caesar. The ball was placed in the Capitoline Museums and in its place was put a cross. The height of the obelisk is 25.50 meters and together with the pedestal and the cross on the top is 41 meters. It's the only obelisk that has not been damaged. Obelisk in Piazza Montecitorio, Montecitorio Square, is called the Solare Obelisk. This obelisk was brought to Rome from Heliopolis at the behest of Emperor Augustus in the 10th BC. The obelisk was made in ancient Egypt in the 6th century BC during the reign of Pharaoh Semiticus II. In Rome, an obelisk was installed on the Campus Martius, like uh, a gnomon of a huge sun deal, not far from uh, Parliament Square, Piazza del Parlamento. Uh, obelisk was found in uh, the 16th century, but reburied, rediscovered and erected by Pope Pius VI in front of the Palazzo Montecitorio in uh, 1792. In memory of the former use of the obelisk, a globe with a hole was installed on its top, so to which a ray of sunlight passes at noon and falls on a special mark on the ground. This obelisk is 21.79 meter high.
The Makoteo obelisk in Piazza della Rotonda. The obelisk was brought to Rome during the reign of Emperor Domitian. It's originally one of a pair at the Temple of Rhine Heliopolis. It was made in ancient Egypt uh, during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses II at the end of the 13th century BC. In Rome, the obelisk served as a decoration for the Temple of Isis on the Campus Martius. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the Campus Martius fell into disrepair. The obelisk was found in 1373, and in 1711, at the behest of Pope Clement XI, the obelisk was erected in the square in front of the Pantheon. According to the project of the architect Filippo Barigioni, the obelisk was inscribed in an already existing fontaine, which was previously made by Giacomo della Porta. This obelisk is 6.34 meters high, together with the pedestal 14.52 meters high. The obelisk in the Minerva Square, the Minerva obelisk. It was brought to Rome from Heliopolis along uh, with the obelisk of the Pantheon during the time of Emperor Domitian. It was also installed in the Campus Martius in front of the Temple of Isis. The obelisk dates back to the reign of uh, Pharaoh Apria, 6th century BC. The obelisk is only 5.47 meters high, but with a base, an elephant, and a cross on the top, it reached 12.69 meters. In 1667, the obelisk was installed in the square in front of the church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. An elephant was made by Ercole Ferrata after a drawing by Bernini. An elephant stands with its back to the ancient Domitian monastery. The Quirinale Obelisk, placed in front of the palace of the President of the Italian Republic on the Quirinale Hill. The obelisk is part of the sculptural group of the Dioscuri Fontaine. The marble sculptural group of Dioscuri was found during the excavation of the bust of Emperor Constantine. The sculptural group consists of two figures of youth, Pollux and Castor, restraining their horses. According to the legend, the Dioscuri were twin brothers born to Leda after Zeus lay down with her taking the form of a swan. For those born of God and an earthly woman, a divine law was in effect. One of them was destined to be mortal. Castor became him. Once Castor was mortally wounded in battle, and Pollux prayed to his father not to separate him from his brother, to which Zeus gave them the right to live one day on the bright Olympus with the gods, and the other to wander in the kingdom of Hades, the shadow of uh, the dead. According to another legend, Zeus allowed them to turn into stars, and since they were inseparable, became the constellation Gemini. The obelisk, made of red asphalt granite, uh, was brought to Rome from ancient Egypt in the 1st century by order of Emperor Domitian. 
Ezra, no hieroglyphs on the obelisk. It's assumed that uh, it's an imitation of ancient Egyptian obelisk. It uh, decorated uh, the entrance to the mausoleum of Emperor Augustus. In 1787, by order of Pope Pius VI, uh, the obelisk was installed in Kirinali Hill together with the sculptural ensemble of uh, Dioscuri. The height of uh, this obelisk is 14.63 meters, and with the base it reached uh, 28.94 meters. The obelisk in Piazza Aquilina in front of the Basilica of the Holy Virgin Mary the Great. The obelisk was made in the era of uh, Emperor Domitian and is an imitation of ancient Egyptian obelisks. It was placed uh, on the Campus Martius, uh, decorating the entrance uh, to the mausoleum of Emperor Augustus. In the 16th century, during the reconstruction of the former territory of the Campus Martius, fragments of uh, split obelisk, Quirinal and Aquiline, as well as marble slabs decorated with reliefs, were discovered. So was found the famous altar of a piece of Emperor Augustus. The obelisk was restored and moved to Piazza Aquilina by order of Pope Sixtus V. It was installed according uh, to the project and under the direction of the architect Domenica Fontana in 1587. The obelisk is uh, 14.75 meters high and together with the pedestal it reaches uh, 25.53 meters high. The Degali Obelisk. This obelisk was also brought from Heliopolis. It decorated the temple of the sun god during the time of Ramses II. In Rome, it was installed near the temple of Isis on the field of Mars, Campus Martius. It was found in 1883 near the church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. It was restored and installed as a memorial monument to 548 Italian soldiers who died in the Battle of Dogali, Ethiopia, in 1885. The architect Francesca Azzurri decorated the obelisk with the memorial niche. Initially, the obelisk was located in front of the entrance of the Central Railway Station of Rome, Termini, but in 1925 it was moved to the garden of the Bash of Diocletian, where it's located now. The Degalia obelisk is 6.34 meter high. The Salustiano obelisk. This obelisk placed above the Spanish steps opposite the entrance to the church of Trinità dei Monti. It's an imitation of ancient Egyptian obelisks. The hieroglyphs on it are copied from the Flaminius obelisk in Piazza del Popolo, but with errors. 
The obelisk was found in the gardens of Sallust. At uh, the behest of uh, Pope Pius VI, the obelisk was uh, moved and installed according to the design of the architect Giovanni Antinori in 1789. During the 20-year rule of Nazis, uh, the obelisk was dedicated to the fallen uh, Nazis. The obelisk is uh, 13.91 meters high, but uh, with a base and a cross on top, it reached a height of uh, 30.45 meters. The Pinciano or Antinous obelisk, placed in the Pinciano Hill. This obelisk was commissioned by Emperor Hadrian and erected in Tivoli for the tomb of his lover Antinous, moved to Rome by Elagabalus to decorate the spina of Circus Varianus. The obelisk was found in three pieces by the Sakoshi brothers in their vineyard in 1570 and uh, later was bought by Cardinal Francesco Barberini in uh, 1632. It was then uh, known as uh, the Barberini Obelisk. Donna Carnella Barberini Colonna, a descendant of the Cardinal, donated it uh, to Pope Clement XIV in 1773, who moved it uh, to the Cartier de la Pina in the Vatican. In 1822, it was erected uh, on the Pinciano Hill by Pope Pius uh, the Seventh, where it still stands. Since then, it had uh, been known as the Obelisco Pinciano. This obelisk is 9.24 meter high, and together with the pedestal, is 17.26 uh, meter high. The Ahanales obelisk was made by order of the Imperial Domitian and is a copy of the Egyptian obelisks. The name of the obelisk is associated with the church of San Agnese in Agone, located on Piazza Navona. Initially, the obelisk was located in the villa of the Emperor Domitian near Albano, and in 311, the Emperor Maxentius installed it in the circus on the Appian Way. By order of Pope Innocent X in 1651, the obelisk was found among the ruins of the Circus Maxentius on the Appian Way. It turned out to be split into four parts, and its pedestal couldn't be found in it entirely. Jean Lorenzo Bernini included an obelisk in the center of the Four Rivers Fountain. This fountain represents the rivers Niles, Ganges, Danube, and Rio del Plata, the largest river in Africa, Asia, Europe, and America. At that time, the Amazon was not yet known. At the top of the obelisk, Bernini placed a doe with an olive branch, a symbol of the Pamphili family, Pope Innocent X. The obelisk has a height of uh, 16.5 meters, and with a fountain, a basement, and a dove on the top, its height reached 30 meters.
the lateral nasal obelisk is the oldest and tallest obelisk in Rome. The obelisk dates back to the second half of the 15th century BC. Its height is 32.18 meters, and with a base and a cross on the top, the height of the obelisk reached 45.70 meters. This obelisk was brought from Egypt to Rome in 357 at the behest of Emperor Constantine II. It uh, towered in the city of Teb Karnak in the temple of Amon Ra during the reign of uh, pharaohs uh, Tutmosis III and Tutmosis IV. The obelisk was brought to Rome and installed in the central part of the Great Circus, Circus Maximus. In 1587, the obelisk was dug up, but it was split into three parts. Pope Sixtus the Fifth commissioned the architect Dominica Fontana to restore and move the obelisk from the Circus Maximus. The obelisk was erected in the square near the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist on Lateran Hill. It is believed that the choice of this particular obelisk was a deliberate decision, since the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in the Lateran is the seat of the papal throne and the chair of the Roman bishop. In the Catholic world, this cathedral stands above the rest, and the Lateran obelisk is the largest cult obelisk in Rome. Mattiano Obelisk, placed in the park of Villa Cilimantana. Villa Cilimantana is the ancient seat of the Mattei family in Rome. It uh, became a public park in 1925, and the villa houses uh, the headquarters of the Geographical Society of Italy. The obelisk is originally one of a pair at the Temple of Ra in Heliopolis, the other being the Macoteo in the Piazza della Rotonda, which retains much more of its original height. The obelisk moved uh, to the Temple of Isis near Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, found in the 14th century and erected east of Santa Maria in Araqueli on the Capitoline, moved to Villa Celimontana after Michelangelo redesigned the square in the late uh, 16th century. Lost again, fragments rediscovered and re erected in 1820. The obelisk reaches uh, 2.68 meter high and with a pedestal 12.23 meter high. That's where all 13 obelisks of Rome. That's all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in the new interesting places.